Well, they would categorize taking away a woman's right to choose as fascism, controlling women's bodies. You know. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, that is fascism. When someone with like, so you saying that you're you wait, you think that when the the when when the government goes to a person and says, no, you don't control your own body. We do. You don't view that as like a totalitarian ideal. OK, well, then you know what? I'm going to fucking shove a big fucking time bomb up your ass because you know what? I've decided that you don't have the right to control your body. I do. How do you feel about that? You think that's cool? Uh, I so, mean, yeah, no one believes there's an argument here. And if I was to be more charitable, I guess we could kind of peace out. Um, but I guess I'll be less charitable here in this response, <laughs> which is that nobody, not nobody, nobody except like a lot of libertarians believe in complete, you know, bodily freedom. The government tells you what you can do with your body all the time. The most clear example of this on the left is, as I said in my tweet, vaccine mandates. It's the government dictating that you have to inject something into your body. Yeah. You know, uh, when the government, you know, arrests someone, they're taking your body away. They're putting you in some place you want to be. When the government drafts you, they're taking you. We don't really have a choice in the matter. They're taking your body and they're putting you someplace. What about when kids have to go to school because they're forced to go to school against their will, even against their parents' wishes? Parents can't just decide their kids can't go to school. They don't want their kids to go to school. They have to homeschool their kids. They have to provide some alternative. You can't just say, oh, I don't want my kid to go to school. You uh, Crapping on the body autonomy aside, it, he's mischaracterizing the dynamic of the abortion debate because... His position that bodily, and I think he even says it here, bodily autonomy is the most important thing. The argument mm -hmm. is over when does bodily autonomy begin, which means if you're saying bodily autonomy is the most important thing, so are the pro-lifers. Right. They're just saying bodily autonomy of the, of the baby. Of the <laughs> exactly. baby. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So, and that was but, the, that's the yeah. second point. So are you is saying, that, are you saying, if you're saying bodily autonomy, like if you're saying bodily autonomy matters, then being able to like abort a child I mean, should matter. That's ignoring the bodily autonomy of the child. Right, but that's why I hate that argument when people just give this very stupid, like, like oh, there's only one um, variable, variable, I can't say that word right now. No. There's only one variable in the abortion debate, and it's, you know, a woman's right over her body. Because that's not true. There's a second variable there, yeah. and that's when do personhood rights extend to the fetus? At what point does that occur? And that's what people can't agree upon. And so it's like this willful ignorance to pretend like that part of the conversation doesn't exist. Yes. And how is that? Fa how is it fascist? How the how the fuck is that fascism? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Oh, what a weird argument. Oh, he's, he wants to shove things in my ass. Oh, he's threatening me. He's threatening me. Shut up. I'm not threatening you. I'm making a fucking example of how you, pro you fucking value your own bodily autonomy, but you just think that because someone has a different set of fucking genitalia from you, that their bodily autonomy doesn't mean anything. Now, I'm sorry that you're so unfamiliar with women. You probably never even fucking sniffed, let alone seen a pussy. But uh, uh, that, you know, well, other than the one you look at every morning in the fucking mirror, you little fucking punk bitch motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I've been married for 15 years, so, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam's my work wife, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean. Well, anyway, this, sorry, I'm getting. Wait, wait, this is. Is this a bit? Like, I don't know. It's so, it's so. Uh, comes off as I know schizophrenic is the wrong word, even though everyone uses it. But right. it comes off so multiple personality, so schizophrenic, to vacillate from this like zero to one hundred. Now we're in cells. <laughs> well, just to get like, oh, you know, you guys are boring too. Like, oh, I'm so angry that I'm now calling you guys in cells, like seething. 
totally seething here. And assuming all sorts of uh, positions that we don't even have. Apparently, you and I don't believe in bodily autonomy for women because they have a different set of genitals. So, <laughs> okay. Really? Okay. I mean, I do believe in bodily autonomy. No, you don't. You're a liar. Even even for the 50... Nah. Even for the 50% of mm -hmm. unborn children that are women. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Nice, nice. I sent Mahler the link, by the way. I don't know. I don't know. To this? He wants, he wants to come in. Why not? Oh, okay, I mean, sure. Yeah, join. <laughs> we, Mahler, Mahler's great because if we... I mean, we can throw Mahler out if we want to wrap up. <laughs> so it's not I just, I know, usually Mahler strays away from... I know, it's crazy these types of conversations but yeah if he wants to come in then <laughs> that'd be great maybe he can critique the singing mm -hmm. how's this how's this measure up compared to disney <laughs> can we get tj a job mm -hmm. can he can he be in the next little mermaid he can play the crabs come on i'm on a roll here <laughs> you're supposed to join in <laughs> I was distracted by Twitter. I apologize. Oh. Get, get, no, no, no. I need to take it down a notch. Look, he, okay, good. <sighs> okay. okay. Look at that. He realized, he's like, well, this guy looks pretty Chad. He might have himself a wife somewhere. <laughs> I got to <laughs> chill out a bit here. I can't go. This, I That's mean, it. He, he just saw your face at him. He's like, this Chatham character. Oh, my God. Yeah, Maybe. Okay, fair enough. Got to me a little. Literally not. It's okay. Abortion, yeah, abortion and fascism has nothing to do with each other. Like, oh my god, he actually passionately cares about his fucking points of view. Cringe! More cringe from the cringe lord! Did you guys wait, know that this... What, the, what happened? Did I even say <laughs> anything about cringe? What's going on? About his... <sighs> okay. Okay. He said he's going to try to calm down. It didn't work. <laughs> okay. It didn't work. I think TJ needs to take some yoga classes, some meditation. Yeah. Got to me a little. Gentle. Clearly not. Okay. Okay. Abortion, yeah, abortion and fascism has nothing to do with each other. Like, oh, my God. He actually passed. All I said was abortion and fascism. All I said was abortion and fascism has nothing to do with each other. What is that That's all I said. silky, smooth voice I hear? Hello. Oh, my God. Who is this? Who is, this prequels Who is this prequels defender? Who is this prequels defender? That is, I love, the dude. Call. That's kind of funny, actually, that he would pull the card of "You're making me defend the sequels." Like, you're making me defend the prequels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we know why Mahler wants to come on. He's like, let's talk about Star Wars. Hey, Sitch brought it up. Okay, I that's true. I did. That's true. What's up? What's up? Sir? Oh, you know, working, just editing constantly, and I was like, I am. It's four and a half a.m. in my part of the world and i'm like nobody's around nobody's awake and then it's like you guys are streaming of course yeah. we um, are yeah it's our sunday like, night huh. see this is what i do i'm like oh, i'll go hang out and it's like this is your job that you're doing and i'm disrupting <laughs> it right no way are you come on i mean we're team shirker over here sometimes <laughs> I'm I've, team I've shirker. Seen, adam's team hard worker i know i've seen pieces of of, of this with mm -hmm. Uh, the clips I saw of him, he was just like furious at you guys being of a chill energy, which I thought was hilarious. Yes. Um, TJ, because I, I watched shit tons of his content back in the day. He he, was, he does this thing where he like rocks back and forth, and he he like is agitated constantly. And if a video isn't like entertaining him, he like fucking loses his mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys are like me, where if a video is not very good, you're like, well, this isn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, it so, depends yeah. how it's not good. If it's boring, then yeah, I'm not gonna get like enraged over it. If it's pissing me off, and yeah. then I'll get enraged over it. But, um, but yeah, I saw him getting so mad at you guys for just you know having him say something and being like, hmm, no, I don't think so. Because when you think you know like a sentence that takes just a little longer than maybe usual, it was it was, uh, it was blown his mind. He also seemed to hate you guys. Have you managed to apologize to him yet? feel cruel i'm not apologizing we didn't do it we haven't done anything wrong what wow. yeah what would you apologize for 
We are we're based giving him tips on his terrible rhetoric. Correct. Yeah. Listen, we're trying to help TJ. TJ helped us out with our editing. Okay. And we're trying to help TJ out yeah. with not reading off a prompter so obvious, or at least hide it. You know, don't make it so obvious. Yeah. You got to be smooth. You got to wear uh, shades. You got to like ABAs sneak a peek. Yeah. There you go. Look, there you go. are coming in with the perfect idea. Or you could just have an avatar. <laughs> so people will never know. There, you, that's what we need. We need a, a TJ VTuber avatar that that just looks like a crazed homeless man, <laughs> like a crazed homeless muppet, homeless muppet that just rants, so no one has to see his eyes. The way I saw it, though, I was like, "This is perfect." If it was just a call, you can solve any of the differences easily and quickly. But it's, mm -hmm. it's like it's probably not going to happen, is it? I doubt it. I mean, if he wants to come on after we watch this video, I'm down for that at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if he would be willing to, but sure. Well, come on, Mahler's a big time YouTuber. He's got to come on and. and I mean, have listen, you met look, TJ look, Mahler? We're we're we're, we're ten minutes. Oh wait, hold on. We're ten minutes away from ending this video. Okay. Oh, look at how sorry. far he's gotten to our video. Do you, like, you know what my fucking code name is, right? Long man. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But looks we he TJ's ten minutes. He's got ten minutes left, and he's only made it through like one tenth of our video. <laughs> What's, yeah. what's even the conversation going to be about? He doesn't even know what we think. Um, well, you took too long to be entertaining, so it's kind of I your guess fault, isn't it? That's the problem. I guess that's the problem. So, so we don't understand you're, fascism. You're, you're, you know Mahler's the interesting thing, by the way, of because I did catch that. I was listening to you guys. So the mm -hmm. whole um, oh, so you know when the government tells you what you can and can't do to your body, you're not going to call that fascism. And it's like, aren't we um? Would would you guys not consider it like if I wanted to I don't know bleed just to, at my own whims in places is the would that count as a my body my because you know, like obviously there's going to be some laws that you might be able to argue some things like if I want to be naked for example is that mm. my body my choice that's a good point yeah you can't just um, walk around naked little indecent you know, exposure uh, and I like do you think it's a form of fascism that the government says you must be wearing clothes in certain areas and maybe if maybe someone will bite that bullet and say yes but it's a very very low consequence form of fascism or something right. like that i mean when i walk to the the store the corner store and it says no shirt no shoes no service mm -hmm. i think that must be fascist. a fascist running this store <laughs> Total okay this is the nudists have it hard man you know that's this this <laughs> store is i'm going to open that door and hitler and mussolini are going to be standing right there behind that counter staring down at me making sure hey. i'm wearing a shirt 